Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Saturday, the memorial of St. Catherine de Ricci, Sister and Virgin. Alessandra de Ricci was born of a noble family near Florence in 1522. At the age of 12, she entered the Dominican convent of St. Vincent at Prato and took the religious name Catherine. Inspired by Girolamo Savonarola, she worked constantly to promote the regular life. She was favored with extraordinary mystical experiences and at the age of 20, began to experience the sacred stigmata and weekly ecstasies of the passion. This phenomena continued for 20 years. Despite her intense mystical life of prayer and her penance, Catherine served as prioress of the convent for 36 years. She was noted as a kind and considerate superior, particularly gentle with the sick. She died on February 2, 1590. We will now have the morning prayer of the church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth, my mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lamb with the virgin who followed Him. Come, let Come, us let worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed Him. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the God who saved us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed Him. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King of all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed him. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock, his shepherd. Come, let us worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed Him. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not go stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Mary by Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed Him. For years I ended that generation. I said, they are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed Him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lamb with the virgins who followed Him.
Please be seated. We dwell to sing to your name, Mosai, and proclaim your mercy at daybreak. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Mosai, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten string lyre and the lute, with murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish, and all doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph of my foes, and my ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree, and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green. They proclaim that the Lord is just. In Him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will create a new heart in you, and breathe into you a new spirit. I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, to, cle to cleanse you from all your impurities. And from all your idols, I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. On the lips of children and infants, you have found perfect praise. How great is your name, O Lord our God, to all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to fall your enemy to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you have arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet. All of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish, they make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. God of lights and truth, by your grace, St. Catherine, shone forth in her contemplation of the passion of your Son. By the help of her prayers, may we meditate with reverence upon the same mysteries and so come to enjoy their fruits. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the uh, and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, through Jesus, let us continually offer God a sacrifice of praise, that is, the fruit of lips that confess His name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, God is pleased by sacrifices of that kind. 
Obey your leaders and defer to them, for they keep watch over you and will have to give an account, that they may fulfill their task with joy and not with sorrow, for that would be of no advantage to you. May the God of peace, who brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, furnish you with all that is good, that you may do his will. May he carry out in you what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me. In the sight of my foes, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving and many come to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus embarked and saw the fast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. And I'm a bit, bit new. And on the ladder, Lanyo. Sempre, makikita natin na kandila. Bitbit natin ng kandila upang sindihan at magdasal. At kasama sa kandila na yan, bitbit natin ang mga panalangin para sa mahumuhi na tulungan natin sila ipanalangin ang kanilang mga pangangailangan. Anong bitbit nyo? 
panalangin para sa mga tao na humihingi ng tulong sa Diyos. At lalong-lalo na sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, si Apo Baket. Kaya maaga pa, bitbit natin ang kandila at sumama sa prosesyon ngayong first Saturday of February. Don procession at don rosary. Ano ang bitbit nyo? Maliban sa kandila, siyempre cellphone para mag-selfie. Patunay na nandito tayo sa manawag. Ano ang bitbit nyo? Maliban sa cellphone. Yung iba, bitbit nila ang kanilang mga anak. Bitbit nila ang kanilang mga ina, ama, yung mga naka-wheelchair. Opang ipanalangin. So dala-dala natin ngayon ang panalangin. Anong bitbit ng mga apostoles pagkatapos sila pinadala ng ating Panginoon. We remember that the instructions of our Lord to them to bring nothing, no extras, to bring peace to every household that they enter and to heal the sick and to give freedom to those who are possessed by the evil. Sa ating Ibanghilyo ngayon, bumalik sila pagkatapos magtrabaho. Bitbit nila ang kasayahan kung ano ang kanilang ginawa ang pagpagaling sa mga may sakit ang pagpalayas sa mga demonyo at ang pagturo tungkol sa kaharian ng Diyos. Bitbit ng mga apostoles ang sukses ng kanilang trabaho. Bitbit ng mga apostoles at ang report nila ay maganda sa ating Panginoon. Dahil sa magandang kawain at dahil napapansin ng ating Panginoon na pagod sila, sinabihan sila, okay, take your time, have your rest. But then, Pagkatapos nilang pagbaba sa bangka, nakita pa rin nila yung maraming maraming mga tao. And our Lord was moved with pity kasi maraming mga tao, katulad ng mga tupa, na walang umaaruga, walang nagtuturo, walang gumagawa ng kanilang pangangailangan. Mga kapatid, nandito tayo. Bitbit natin, sabi ko kanina ang ating mga panalangin, Bitbit natin ang kandila. Bitbit natin ang mga intentions ng ating mga pinagdasal na mga mahal sa buhay, na mga tao na humingi ng dasal para sa kanilang pangangailangan. At masaya tayo. Masaya tayo na i-present natin sa ating mahal na ina ang mga intentions ang ating panalangin 
Ang tanong, pagkatapos ng misang ito, anong bitbit natin pa uwi? Anong bitbit natin pa uwi? Anong pasalubong natin? pag natin. Siyempre, hindi natin dala-dala ang usok ng kandila natin sinindihan. Ang dala-dala po lamang natin yung panalangin. Yung panalangin natin sa Diyos sa pamagatan ni Maria. Bitbit natin ang saya. Kasi sa san tamisang ito ay ating tanggapin ang ating Panginoon. Sa ating pakikinabang, bitbit natin sa ating pag-uwi. Hindi lamang ang picture kung saan tayo nagsiselfie. Ngunit bitbit natin ang Panginoon dahil tinanggap o natanggap natin siya sa ating sarili. When we receive Holy Communion, dala-dala natin ang ating Panginoon. At paano natin i-report yan sa mga naiwan sa bahay? Siyempre, bitbit natin ang saya dahil nakarating tayo dito sa manawag. At bitbit natin ang saya at ang ligaya na dala-dala natin ang Panginoon. Bitbit natin ang pagpatawad. Sa palagay ko, iyon ang pinakamagandang pasalubong pagdating natin sa bahay. Lalong-lalo na yung hindi natin uh, pinagsasabihan o hindi natin nakakausap, yung hindi pa natin napapatawad. Bitbit natin ang ating Panginoon na siyang unang nagpatawad sa atin. Hindi ba masaya? Di ba masaya ang pamilya, ang mga kaibigan, ang grupo? Di ba masaya kung merong peace? Katulad ng dala-dala ng mga apostoles sa bawat bahay na papasokan nila, the greeting would be peace. So hindi ba dalad maganda pag dala-dala natin Maliban sa answered prayer na ating pinagdasal dito sa ating simbahan, dala-dala natin ang kapayapaan. Dahil we will be at peace with people whom we have differences. We bring peace to those people whose relationship is not in good condition. We bring peace to those people that oftentimes are forgotten. We bring peace of Jesus and certainly of Mary sa mga tao na naghikawas sa mga tao na nakakalimutan ng iba ng mga mahal sa buhay. Sa mga ma- minamahal kong mga kapatid, dapat lamang na magsaya tayo sa araw na ito. Magsaya tayo dahil bit-bit natin ang ating mga panalangin, bit-bit natin ang kapayapaan Bitbit natin ang ating Panginoon upang dadalhin, isiye, ipamahagi ang kanyang panalangin sa mga naiwan sa bahay, sa mga kaibigan, lalong-lalo na sa mga may sakit. We'll stand. Aware of the need to escape from the demanding activity of life in order to strengthen and restore our inner spirit, 
we approach God the Father in humble prayer. Let the response be, Shepherd your people, O Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord. That those who exercise leadership in their church may keep their commitments alive in the preaching of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord. That we who are burdened with heavy work may come away and rest a while and find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord. That those who have abandoned their faith may be led back to the family of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord. That through the intercession of Mary, the sick may find healing from their infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Shepherd your people, O Lord. For our missions and for our brothers and ministry at Rumah Biara Santo Dominicus and Rumah Biara Santo Tomas Aquinas, Indonesia, St. Dominic, Sri Lanka, St. Antonius, General Santos, Kamigin, and Kalayan. We pray. Shepherd your people, O Lord. For the, devote, for the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions, we pray. Shepherd your people, O Lord. That the faithful departed may dwell in the Lord's house forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord. Almighty Father, you call us to be with you. May we be faithful in following your Son on the way to your kingdom. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spirit watering. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, accept our gifts of bread and wine on this feast of St. Catherine. Help us now to celebrate the passion, death, and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and ever for to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints you consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. 
it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promised in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy o Lord, the fount of holiness, make holy therefore this gift to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Soy kunita in sa lilira inihain bilang pagkainunin yan sa saluhan natin ang kasal sa itumating ang kasal sa Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, Gerard our Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
with our Father Saint Domine, Saint Catherine the Ricci, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the severe command and form by divine teaching, be there to say, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I left you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Will Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion. Bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. 
kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po ninyo isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostia upang maiwasan ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
please stand. Blessed be the Lord who said to Catherine, Come, my beloved, come. I will make your garments white in the blood of the Lamb. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has he raised up for us a mighty Savior, Savior born, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised to of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised, he promised to, to show mercy to our fathers and to, and to remember his holy covenant. covenant. This was the oath he sought to our father Abraham to set free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, Lord who said to Catherine, Come, my beloved, beloved come. come. I will I make, make your garments white in the blood of the, the Lamb. Let us also pray the litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the missing, the blessings and graces we receive during the COVID pandemic. Let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help, and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, you entered a world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic as you wept at the death of Lazarus Breath, the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank you and praise you. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Let us pray. Lord our God, we have been renewed by assuring in this divine gift, may we, like our sister Catherine, bear in our bodies the suffering of Jesus and strive to live for you alone. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. I would like to thank uh, Father Pablo Chung here for, for celebrating. And also, thank you very much for coming, lalong lalo na yung mga nagising na maaga, sa galing sa malayong lugar. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa sa Eucharistia nito. We continue praying for one another. We continue praying especially for those who are sick and those who are in need. Ingat po tayo. Alam po natin na hindi pa talaga tapos ang pandemi. Ingat lang po. Maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Kindly remember the names of your loved ones who are sick and over these prayers. We will also bless your religious articles. 
Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, soil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.